What up, Dungeon Squad? Cruz Ramos with Dungeon Boxing Club here. And for today's quick boxing tip of the day, we're gonna be going over how to properly use the uppercut bag. So stick around, you don't wanna miss out. Now, if you're not already using an uppercut bag, I greatly encourage you to do so. These bags can be a great asset to you, especially when you're learning how to work on the inside, your uppercuts and your hooks. So let's take a look at how we like to do this here at Dungeon Boxing Club. Now, one thing I want you to know is that this particular bag here is mounted against a wall, so that restricts, the, it restricts it from moving too much. Now, downstairs, I do have one that hangs freely, which is really nice when you're incorporating your footwork into your uppercuts cuts and hooks but for this particular video here we're just gonna focus on where to hit the bag and how to hit the bag okay so the first thing I want you to note here if you're, if you're new to throwing uppercuts I do have a video that we recorded previously that I'll go ahead and link down in the description for you to watch before you start using this bag now it might be a natural tendency seeing this bag to want to throw your uppercuts in this area here Two reasons why that doesn't work. First of all, you could end up injuring your wrist and elbows if thrown with enough force to where it causes you to overextend your arm, okay? Second thing, it's just not a real, real it's not a very realistic punch. If I'm using my body as a guide here, this punch here ends up being a shot to the groin area, which is an illegal shot, so you should not be practicing that in the, in the gym. So what you want to do, there's two places where this uppercut's going to land. It's going to be in the diaphragm area or it's going to be on the bottom of the chin, okay? So you want that punch to start landing about this area here, right in the center of the bag. And as it lands, you want to push in to create that impact. So here's what it looks like. A second use for this bag is to work on your hooks. If you notice, it has these big open ends here, which are perfectly set up for you to throw your hooks, okay? Same thing, you're gonna use your body as a guide, okay? So if I'm throwing that hook, I'm gonna shoot it towards the head area here. So you wanna make sure you're raising that elbow, turning the hip, using the shoulder to generate the power you need to create an effective hook. And here's what that looks like. As I mentioned earlier, this bag here is ideal when you're trying to learn how to work on the inside, when you're trying to work those short uppercuts, short hooks. Those type of punches don't work when you're standing way out here away from your opponent. Those are inside punches, so this bag is perfect for working those combinations. And here's what that looks like. So that's just a few ways that we like to use the uppercut bag here at Dungeon Boxing Club. One of my most favorite drills to do is I'll set up the timer for three minutes. Now this is when I'm working on my heavy bag routine. I'll set up the timer for three minutes and I'll, I'll, I'll choose two particular punches to work on for that specific round. So for I'll either choose I'll work the right uppercut followed by the left hook or I'll go to the left uppercut followed by the right hook. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll throw five straight uppercuts just like that and then I'll follow that for with five straight hooks, okay? And I'll do that for the entire round. And this is what that looks like. Now that does get a bit tiring, but as the old adage says, Practice makes perfect. Thank you so much for joining me today, Dungeon Squad. I really hope this video was informative for you. Do me a favor, let me know what are some of the ways you like to use the uppercut bag at your gym. I appreciate you, I appreciate your knowledge. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.